Well, traditional cartography involved drawing lines on, on paper or on a special medium for making maps. It was an infinitely painstaking process. It was very intolerant of mistakes. It required a lot of training uh, and a lot of uh, care and technical knowledge. Uh, so there was really only a relatively small number of people in the world who could draw beautiful maps in the past. Now what digital technology has made possible is that scholars whose areas of expertise lie elsewhere, lie in history or in politics or in sociology, to make maps which illustrate their work. Uh, so rather than having to work with cartographers, uh, we can make the maps ourselves. Now there's actually no problem at all with working with cartographers. The problem is that uh, universities have almost all closed their cartography departments. There's very few universities in the world that still have the capacity to draw good maps. And that means that most researchers are thrown on their own resources. Either they draw their own maps or they commission a graphic designer, which is often not a very satisfactory solution because graphic designers don't know much about maps or they draw the maps themselves. I started off uh, with, com with uh, computer graphics, with digital, uh, digital maps, uh, but in those days computer hard disks were very small. I can remember being very excited uh, when I moved from 500 megabytes to uh, 1 gigabyte. And I also started when CorelDRAW was still version 3. It was a very slow, clunky program individual maps took hours and hours because I had to deal with every single point on every single line sometimes and get each of them in the right place. The modern versions are so much easier than the older versions were.